Hi, it's me, Abby, here again, and I cannot believe I'm almost at the end of my project now. It's crazy how quick this year's gone. It's been a hard year, and so much more trying than my previous years at uni, but I'm glad that we're near the finish line. Although, I've already accepted an offer for another course at university, so my time here's not quite finished yet. The DNA that I extracted as part of this project got sequenced by Novagene, and the bioinformatics work that has followed has caused me all sorts of problems. At Worcester we don't have a lot of bioinformatic work going on, and so we don't have a defined pipeline, and that has meant that I've had to try all sorts. Recently I've finally managed to find a pipeline that works, but it's taken me so many trials, and it's still not perfect. When people talk about how nothing goes as planned in science, I can now firmly agree with them that sometimes things just don't go your way, and it's really helped me work on my resilience. As I've said in previous videos, the plan was to investigate whether biocontrol agents impact the microbiome on pea plants. I had five treatment groups, as shown on the screen now, no treatment, downy mildew infected, and then the three treatments that were infected with downy mildew and then sprayed with a biocontrol agent. My initial plan was to see the entire microbiome, all bacteria, fungi, and anything else included. Unfortunately, because of the problems I've been running into, I have now only got bacterial data. For all of the treatment groups, between 25% and 31% of all reads were bacterial. The fact that they're all in the same range is a sign that the different treatment groups don't have a dramatic change in the percentage of the microbiome formed of bacteria. Unfortunately, for all treatments, a large amount of the bacterial reads could not be assigned to taxonomy. That's the grey area in the pie charts. This could be that the database I used doesn't have all bacterial genomes in it, or the more likely cause is that the DNA in my original samples was degraded and so the sequencing reads are distorted. If my work was to be repeated, I think there needs to be more cleanup steps during the DNA extraction. The pseudomonas treatment and the no treatment are showing high similarity, which is really interesting. These two treatments show more similarity than any of the others, and that might be showing us that the biocontrol agent has no major impacts on the microbiome and its usage is safe and not detrimental to the plant. This is exciting work to look at, and as I look further into it, I'm sure more trends will pop out. But for now, this is an exciting start. When I write my report for the BSPP, I will be sure to show more of my results. But for now, I will leave it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the final part.